and 42 here on Good Day. Downtown Disney is about to get a makeover and a new name. Yesterday, Disney World officials announced a new project they are calling Disney Springs. It includes brand new stores, restaurants, and a really redesigned look. The makeover is expected to create about 1,200 construction jobs and 4,000 permanent jobs. Disney tells us this project has been about three years in the making. We actually had some plans in place about three years ago, and we stepped back, took a look at them, and decided they really weren't good enough. And um, so it's something we've wanted to do for a while, but we wanted to make sure we did it right. And I think we're really going to do that with Disney Springs. So um, there's a big opportunity, and uh, we're excited to, to bring this to our guests. Joining us now on Good Day Orlando is Lou Mangiello. He's the creator of WDWRadio.com and, yeah, affectionately a Disney freak, right, Lou? <laughs> Disney fan. A yeah, fan, okay. okay. <laughs> freak affectionately. Uh, okay, let's talk about this new design here. How is Disney Springs, how's it going to be different from downtown Disney that we know right now? It's going to be radically different in both uh, look and in concept and in story, right? Because right now downtown Disney is a little bit disjointed with the marketplace and, and Pleasure Island and West Side. Disney Springs is going to have a completely different feel and an overriding storyline, really being inspired by old time Florida, the old small waterfront towns of Central Florida. It's going to be centered around and connected by a springs, and there'll be four distinct areas, but all the sort of um, give a sense really of uh, a community. So is it pretty much going to look the same? I know you got the big lake there in the middle and all the restaurants around it. Uh, is it going to keep that same feel or are they going to be adding a bunch of new things as well? There's going to be a lot of new things that are going to be added. We don't know specifically in terms of vendors and retail and restaurants that are going to be in there, but they're really going to start, John, taking advantage of the waterfront itself. Instead of having the waterfront being behind the buildings, they're going to really want to incorporate that into the feel of what is now going to be called Disney Springs. Yeah, and if you make, and I know some of the pictures here we're seeing, maybe some extra areas to stay down there. Anything that Disney does, it seems the people just <laughs> eat it up and want to be a part of it. It's tough for them to, to, to fail in a venture like this, don't you think? Well, I think what, what this is going to do, especially for, for those of us who live in Central Florida, is Disney Springs is really going to become a destination. It's going to be a place that you can spend an entire afternoon and an evening. I think places like Splitsville have really helped to usher in this new generation of entertainment experience where there's things for the family to do together, you can come during the day, and adults can stay and play at night as well. It's funny you point that out. I never thought about our behavior when we go down there. We'll go down there and eat at T-Rex restaurant. Restaurant, but after that, we've done everything right. there. There's not much else for us to do, so you think it's going gonna, it's gonna to make a day trip for us now. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's going to give you a sense of almost ownership in this place. It's a place that you can come and wander and explore. There's going to be lots of entertainment. It's Disney, so you know they're really going to do a lot of special events and things like that there as well. It's going to be tough calling it a different name. We all know that. So when, <laughs> when do they say that some of these things are going to be open? We're, we're going to start seeing this finished product. They're going to start next month. Construction is going to begin next month. It won't finish till 2016. It will open in phases. We don't know exactly what or when or some of the specifics. All right. Lou Mangiello from WDWRadio.com. Lou, always great to see you. Got me excited. I'm ready to go again. I'm with you. All right.